Have you ever had one of those situations where you end up working on a project for several hours in a row and problems just keep spawning and you can't figure out what the root of them are? Basically every program you use will end up making you have to critically think about the solution. In this example, one of my students ended up having a few problems with her page. First off, if you click on the work button, you'll notice that instead of going to page two, it jumps right to two and then three automatically. So that's one problem we gotta figure out. But the other problem we're having is when we do go to the work page, we'll end up clicking on the thumbnail, which ends up showing the image rather large. But then you click off of it and you click back on it again or another one, and the image ends up hiding behind the selected thumbnail from before. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to problem solve this situation. First off, you'll notice that in the layers panel, we do only have one layer at the moment. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up selecting all of our triggers, which at the moment, all the triggers reside over here. But before doing so, after looking at this layout a few times, You'll notice that under these are actually options for work page, about page, and so on. So in order to make sure I don't grab them, I turn them off for the time being. So now, without further ado, I will end up selecting all these right here, and I will move them right over all my thumbnails. Now I want them to be more in the middle, so what I'll do next is over here in my panels tool, I should have a line. And within the align, I'm gonna do align horizontal centers. That will end up nicely placing everything just right smack down in the middle of my portfolio window. And then with everything still selected, I'm going to go back up to the top of my layers, hide the current layer, make a new layer, and click and drag this icon up to the red layer. That way, all my triggers appear on top. Next, I'm gonna take a step back. I'm going to first go back to layer one and reshow the things I hid before. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hide layer two. Now this is the part that gets a little bit strange and I'm gonna also put this trigger up here as well as we speak. So when you click on a button, the buttons and forms tab, what we have right now is that it's going to show and hide these buttons and forms. So it's gonna end up showing only the target. What we're gonna to need to do, since we have that problem where our targets end up hiding over our buttons, is we're actually gonna go back through here and we're gonna make sure first off that all of our normal links to the left and up here work correctly by turning them on. The American Farmer is the button. We're actually going to hide that. The rest of the stuff on here can still remain seen as long as it's one of the buttons. And then as we work our way down, we want to make sure that the targets are all off except for the American Farm one. So there we go. Basically what will happen now is when we click on the American Farm button, it will show the bigger version of the trigger, which is the huge picture of it. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna go back to our layers, and now we're gonna hide all layer one and put on all layer two. And we're gonna to go to our American Farmer trigger, and we're gonna make that a button as well. So when we click on this, what we're gonna want to have happen is we're gonna want all the pages to show. We're gonna want the American Farmer button to show again. That way it ends up being available option for the next time you wanna click on it. And then basically the targets are all going to hide. I usually just put the slash across to make sure because sometimes in InDesign when you just have the X for ignore, it'll end up making decisions by itself. And sometimes it'll end up throwing the extra information there and other times it won't. You will literally need to repeat this process for all of the different layers incorporated. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you what the final project would look like. So right now, if we end up going to work, you'll notice that if you click on the American Farmer, it pops up big, removes the photo from there, that way there's nothing selected behind it. And then when you click back on this target, it puts it right back in its window. And it works that way with every single one you click.
So just like that, we have a nice flowing portfolio working as charm and magic. But there is one more thing we want to make sure we fix before we're done with this journey. As I said before, you'll notice that when you click on the work link on page one, it ends up jumping from page two to page three immediately. So we're going to click on the work link and we're going to go to the buttons and forms. And the problem is rather simple. It turns out that we have one event which is on click and it's going to the destination work. So that's basically setting a bookmark and setting a jump to destination. But we need to make sure that all the other states are cleared. And in this case, our on release or tap is still trying to make the action go to the next page. So when we end up clicking on work, it jumps to page two, but then immediately jumps to page three because this action ends up going into its action stage after the jump to page. So we're just going to remove it as so. And then if you just do the rest by following what we did before with the buttons and on so, your page will end up being just as we saw in the demonstration a few seconds ago. So remember, on my version, I didn't complete the whole thing in this document, but now you'll notice that if you click work, it stays on work, and you can click American Farm to go out. Now again, you'll have to make sure you complete it on every single button and trigger. So in the end again, just one more look through, you'll end up looking like this. So just repeat those processes over and over for your buttons and triggers. And also make sure you take off that one action state on your work button. Other than that, you're good to go.